from inmate to inspiration, a former DeKalb County prisoner is reshaping life mm -hmm. and lifting up others as well who may find themselves in a situation similar to what she did. Yeah, this is an awesome story. 11 Alive's Caitlin Ross spoke to Desiree Lee about why she's determined to make the most of her second chance since being released from prison. For years, Desiree Lee was known as inmate number 1142980. But when she stepped back through the jailhouse doors this summer, that number was on the cover of her book. It was kind of nerve wracking when I went into those doors and it were locked, locked behind me. But this time I was able to, of course, leave and it was for a different purpose. Sheriff Melody Maddox told former inmate Desiree Lee she wanted her experience in that jail to inspire people still serving sentences behind those walls. And I just sat there in a the parking lot and realized like, wow, this is the place that I thought was the end of my life. She came in person to deliver copies of the book she wrote to women who are in the same situation she was in two weeks after her high school graduation. She was facing 135 years in jail for 11 armed robberies in DeKalb County when the judge told her she would give her just 10 years if she turned her life around. At that sentencing that really meant a lot to me was when the judge says, I can't wait to see what you do with your second chance. She spent four years in jail thinking about how she would use that second chance. But after she was released, she had a hard time finding someone who would take a chance on her. It just felt like a door after another door after another door. So Lee decided to bet on herself. And I just refused to give up. And so I said, you know what? I have nothing else but my story. Hopefully my story can prevent another teenager from making similar decisions. She wrote a book about her experience behind bars and spends every week talking to young people about how to make smarter choices to protect their own futures. And to let them know that it's never too late to become what you could have been. Desiree told me it was important for her to deliver the books here to the jail in person so the inmates could see her walk out the doors by herself and know that one day they can too. Reporting at the DeKalb County Jail, Caitlin Ross, 11 Alive News.